Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us again on Celebrating Act Two as Art and I on our kind of weekly jaunt discuss gray matters, things that matter to most of us with gray hair, I guess, is the uh, is is the main subject every week. But um, today we've got a subject that I think is pretty common. Um, it's when you have you're retired, you have a limited income and yet your house is starting to fall apart. You need a ma- it needs a major investment, a new roof or something like that. In Art's case, it was the windows. How did that work out? Yeah, so uh, kind of interesting. Uh, we moved into this uh, uh, over 50 uh, uh, development uh, about 35, 40 years ago. Uh, we've been living in California for maybe 40, 50 years. Forget already so long. Uh, and yeah, we live in there for 40 years, and so we've been there 25 years, let's say, in, in this development. And the houses are about 40 years old, very well made, but they all have these aluminum windows, which I guess were the rage at the time. Right. And sure. a lot of people replace them with uh, replacement windows and patio doors because they get sticky. For us, they've been drafty, but yep. you know, we've sort of lived with a a little bit of drafty and they're not insulated the single pane and what have yeah. you. And I I just didn't want to spend the money. It was a ton of money, but we've been thinking about it for years. And our next door neighbor recently had his done. Um, the, the guys came in, same amount of windows, of the two patio doors and eight or 10 windows. Yeah. And they did the whole thing in a day. So it wasn't going to be a disruption. Wow. Okay. Uh, and uh, they did quality work, and I went over and I saw them, and they were really great. We know that some of the people on this block who moved in uh, 15, 20 years ago had them done when they first moved in and uh, are still happy with them. Uh, yeah. And they're all uh, dual pane. They're all, that's California code, but nobody would get anything other than dual pane for uh, insulation purposes. If you're right. back east, maybe you get triple pane, but uh, yeah. for really cold winters. But it just seemed like it was going to be a lot of money. And there's a, a, a major company that really does great work uh, that talks about how great their windows are. And they are. Okay, because I actually yeah. had them come and do a bid. But they were in the 50 plus thousand dollars to replace my two oh. patio. I wasn't going to spend that kind of money. No, but, of course not. You're retired, you're fixed income, and and how you know nobody knows how long you're going to live. Or... Well, we know that I've got a 25 year rolling plan. That's true. You're, okay. you're going to live to 110. So yeah. that should, that's an easy decision for me. But you know, I could live with them. But the, the guy next to had them done, and they were. I was so impressed. The people came in. This particular manufacturer uh, in Sola came in, and he the first thing he did was he laid. Uh, plastic out on all the floors throughout the entire house so that they would be tracking stuff in and out. And they were in and out in a day. In any event, I had him give us a bid and he was one third the cost of this major company. Wow. Okay, for the basically the same quality. You know, the the other one may have a slightly higher end uh, hardware on the windows and maybe they offer you uh, offer, uh, not standard, something other than the the vinyl trim. In any event, but they all replace the windows just as in place. They don't uh, yeah. uh, 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 tear them out totally. They keep, keep the furniture. So the windows are a little bit smaller than the other ones, but the windows are plenty big. I mean, yeah. I can go into lots of details. Anyway, let, let me the, let me let, uh, let me just say they were less than a third of the discounted price of the top guy, and the the job they did was amazing. Very very yeah. happy. Well, that's where I was going is because of the laws in California, there's a kind of a high standard double pane windows, things like that. Mm-hmm. Plus, you had had uh, seen other people do it. So it really wasn't a matter of quality, choosing the quality right. for you, as I understand. It was really the fact that it was a lot of money right. and you've got a fixed income and you're in an old house. And, and am I right? So how how'd you get the lower price? Well, nothing. It, he, I didn't have to negotiate anything. It's just that's what his price is. He, he, he's now. They may vary. Whatever I paid, somebody else offering the same product may have charged fifty percent more. This guy okay. is willing to make, you know, his uh, three, four, five thousand so dollars a job. The, the answer is you got a lower price by shopping around. Correct. Okay. Well, I didn't and, have and to. That's always an yeah. I shopped from from the big name to, yeah. and I was told that that the same quality I got from here, I could have paid 40, 50% more with other local sure. installers. 
Uh, yeah. But the point is that I happened to, I was fortunate that I was next door and I saw him there, had him come in. And he so this is, this is the same guy that did your next door neighbors. Absolutely. Yep. Oh, okay. So that's yeah. how you got that. And he's been doing it. He's been doing it for 20 years. And the yeah. owner, the owner came in and he actually was part of the three person team. He had two uh, helpers with him. Right. All of whom actually did really great work. I watched what they were doing. Super yeah. impressed. Uh, and by the way, if you're in Southern California, uh, write me a note. I'll be happy to share his name with you. I've given a great Yelp review. Uh, in fact, I'm talking is BJ Windows, BJ Windows and Doors. But yeah. send me a note, and I'll be happy to recommend them. Great work. Uh, we ordered it on April first or second. Uh, he had them manufactured. He called us about a week ago, and said they're in. Are you available on Friday? Which was this last Friday. And we said, sure. And he was there at eight o'clock in the morning and at four in the afternoon, they were gone, vacuumed everything, uh, just totally. And my wife is happy. I'm happy. Yeah. And the biggest thing is our next door neighbor said the first thing he noticed, and he's a renter. Uh, so the owner actually replaced them. He said he hasn't turned the heat on uh, since they because there's That's no great. there's no drafts or escaping air yeah. or coming back and forth. So we're expecting uh, uh, that it's going to save us probably uh, uh, quite a bit on our utility bills, yeah. uh, uh, heating and air conditioning, which is a big number uh, in California because of the, the cost of electricity and natural gas. So yeah. we'll probably save quite a bit of money, but that wasn't even the point. They, they look good. The house is more comfortable. Obviously, it's going to increase the resale value at some point. We'll want to sell it. You know, Art, um, given the fact that we're in that age group of retirees uh, who all have a similar problem, and that is you're in a house, in your case, a tract house, I think, that um, they all age. Yep. You know, they need certain repairs, and whether it's a roof or another thing, another thing that sounds very common is people, at least in Southern California, they repipe. The, yes. the pipes get old. They repipe with copper or something like that. So these are these home repairs are these guys have got it figured out. Right. You know, they they can go through a tract and and replace everybody's window in a day and go through fifty homes and it's all it's a wonderful a wonderful development for folks like us mm -hmm. because it, it lowers the price. Right. And I, I think by the way, less... Jeff, I will tell you that I've, I've thought about repiping and we're ready to do some more interior uh, changes. I'll probably have yeah. done because they poke little holes in the wall, and things like that. But really, repiping a single uh, story, even a two story house, is actually, I, I actually checked into it, not that expensive. But I will tell you also, even though we're on a relatively fixed income, of course, I know you, John, you've got. Uh, uh, amazing uh, investment. Oh, my so, oil wells so, are pumping. Uh, uh, if money. I ever, yeah. if I ever need a loan, I'm going to you for my bank. Even though I know you're Thanks. usurious, you're usurious sometimes, but I know that I can buy a little extra time here or there. But every so often, I went out and I uh, got a, a a new car three years ago, uh, and I expect that it won't be my last vehicle. But yeah, I, I went and go. Even though my other one was okay, it was aging, and I knew that I was going to have more problems with it. So you do things to prevent. First of all, to be more comfortable, uh, right. which is something we should do. And, you know, not everybody is as fortunate enough. Some people uh, who are in their 60s, 70s and 80s are still working because they didn't save enough or they had medical expenses. And sure. they, you know, all the kind of things we've discussed off and on. But uh, if you're doing OK, you could pay. It so happens I paid for it in cash, but you can pay. You can get really decent plans on it and you'll be more comfortable. And so certain things you should, and I, I should have done it years ago, actually. Yeah. Uh, but well, I think that, look, the lesson for all of us over 50, all us wonderful gray-haired folks, is uh, is really that you can't expect everything around you to not deteriorate. And it needs repair. And sometimes the repairs are major investments. And you just have to plan for them uh, yeah. early, save for them if necessary, and shop around, get the best price. Yep. Yeah. But you can't, yeah. you, even though you think things may be sky high, uh, expensive, like you say, shop around, uh, we were yeah. pleasantly, pleasantly surprised. And yeah. uh, uh, I already have a couple of people ask me about this guy, and he's just 
absolute BJ Windows. I've got got to yeah. say it again. And he well, good. He the deser California. Yeah, he deserves a recommendation. Yep. So anyway, right. um, uh, here's seeing you through my windows. All right. Well, everybody, hopefully your windows are as secure as arts are. No breezes. Good <laughs> no leaks. Slides. Everything's fine. The patio doors slide. Nice and easy. <laughs> okay. Screens are no easy more. to take out when you want to clean the outside of the windows. Uh, I mean, they really, it's a pleasure to have new windows. Yeah. Yeah, We're worth the money in the end. Yeah. Yeah, good. All right, everybody, take care of yourselves and enjoy growing older. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.